If you want to use Canva to the fullest, you have to know about the Canva AI photo editor. And believe me, too many people don't know how many incredible options are hidden there. Today, I'm sharing six powerful Canva AI features that make your design stand out, save you hours every single week, and help you be a more creative designer. This video is very kindly sponsored by Canva, and I couldn't be happier to collaborate with them on this video since Canva has always been my number one favorite tool forever. Make sure to try these amazing AI features yourself using the link below and let's jump right in. The first thing you have to know about is the adjustment panel, which is so, so underrated, but has the power to transform your images from dull phone snapshots to much more polished, professional looking photos. Because it's built with AI, it helps us do some pretty amazing things. So let me show you exactly what I mean by that. I have this image I took with my iPhone and it's decent, but it doesn't have that lovely vibrant feel that you get when you shoot with a professional camera. Now, I'll first select it and go to edit at the top. Then I can click adjust, which opens up this amazing panel. Now from here, you can play around with the sliders to bring life and color back into the image. So I can go ahead and bump the brightness, the contrast. I can drop the highlights a little bit and add light back into the shadows so that we have more of the details visible. And then when we scroll down, you can add a little bit of vibrance from here to the photo, which makes it pop a little, which is exactly what we want for a social post. And you can, of course, increase sharpness a little bit. Just look at the difference in here. But we're not stopping because in this panel, we can also change your colors, which is so useful when you want to tweak your backgrounds or change outfit colors to match the vibe of your design or to match your branding, which is, of course, so, so important. Now, it picked up on this light behind me in here. And if I click on it, I can just change the color to anything I like from here easily. I feel like the most powerful feature here, though, is this area selection right at the very top. You can choose your background, your foreground or click, which will select an object and Canva AI will analyze the photo for you so that you can just change this part. And I can select myself in here and you can see that I can tweak the slider so that I stand out more from the background like this. Now, if I go to select the background in here, I can do the same just for the background. So I can draw the brightness a little bit in here to separate myself a little more. I can maybe drop the sharpness ever so slightly just for that more buttery blur effect that you'd only get with a professional camera. When you compare it to the original, it already looks so much better. Now, I use this panel every single time I create content using my photos because you can really change the quality with a few simple tweaks here and make sure that all my visuals have the same tone. Now it's enough to just go to auto adjust and Canva will do its thing for you, which literally takes a click. It's that good. By the way, I'm Natalia and I help you create better content and grow on social media. So make sure to subscribe so that you can keep learning with me. All right. Next up, we have Magic Expand, which is probably one of my all time favorite features of Canva because it solves one of the most frustrating issues with content creation, which is fitting images into different social media formats. Now, before Canva AI, if an image didn't fit properly, I spent hours trying to crop or find alternatives, which meant I often had to change my design concept entirely. Now, with Magic Expand, I can extend any photo seamlessly. I love using this feature for Instagram posts or Pinterest pins when I'm changing horizontal images into vertical ones. It's also perfect for creating banners or headers. To access it, just go to edit again and you'll find it under Magic Studio, which is where so many of the incredible AI features live. Now, when you click Magic Expand here at the very end, you first have to choose the size. You can freeform it, you can fill the whole page, which I use the most, or you can crop to a square. Then down below, you click expand and you wait while Canva AI gives you four different options to choose from. And this is a standard for the Canva AI features. Now, I'm already so happy with the results. But of course, if you want to explore more, you can just hit generate new results in here. Now, this one is exactly what I was looking for. So let's hit done. And voila, it's filling the space perfectly so we can continue creating our posts. And it took us, what, like two? 
two minutes. This is why I love this feature so much and I know you love it too. All right, we're warming up. Now we can get a little more creative with Magic Edit. This tool lets you modify or add elements to your photos with just a few clicks. This means you can change colors, you can swap things out or add completely new objects into your photo. And it's so often the case that when you design, you're looking for that perfect image, but something is just missing and this is where Magic Edit can really help you out. Let's jump back into the photo editor in here and we have Magic Edit right there. Now, I love this image, but my brand colors are blue and the shirt is pink. So simple. All we need to do is just brush this part to select the color. I'll do it roughly and I'll prompt it to change the shirt color to light blue. Now let's generate. Okay, we have four. Now I think this one looks pretty great. So I can just hit done. And this is how easy it was to match my own branding. But of course, why stop, right? Let's say um, I'm allergic to nuts and they're literally right here, right in front of us. Okay, let's go back to Magic Edit again and I'll select this whole bowl down below with the click function. So I'll just click it, AI analyzes it and let's select this one all together. And now from here, I can say change to a bowl of lentils. And let's generate. Look at this. This is honestly so cool. And it always amazes me how great the results can be. I even got a little blur in the foreground here with this one. So it looks a lot more natural. And just think of how many possibilities we've got here. And as a little tip here, I always recommend you select the area that you want to target specifically, which is why this click feature is so helpful. And make sure you're not trying to change faces, hands or legs because things can get a little tricky here. Now, staying with the same photo for a moment, I want to show you another helpful AI tool here within the Canva photo editor and it's the magic eraser. Now I feel like the background may be a little too distracting so let's try to remove this leak and the salary. Now going back to edit and then in the magic studio we have the magic eraser and we can then go to click it will get analyzed and then we can just select it like this and go to erase like that. Amazing. It's removed now, but we still have some shadows left over behind, but that's okay because we can go back to the brush tool to select any of the unwanted areas. And I'll be very generous with how I select it just because I want every single part of it to be covered. Now, once I'm happy, I can go to erase again and it's much more cleaner now. This is perfect for cleaning up any distractions like cluttered backgrounds, like people or photobombers, objects that are too distracting. After all, we want our designs for social media and beyond to always be clear. And this is one of the ways of making sure we're achieving this clean look. I could completely remove this shelf here if I wanted to and make room for some text. How cool is that? Of course, the photo editor in Canva wouldn't be what it is without the absolutely iconic background remover. And it's an absolute must have for any content creator or small business owner. With just one click, you can isolate your subject from its background and create stunning catalogs for social media posts or YouTube thumbnails. I use this feature all the time for Instagram carousels and reels covers where I want clean outlines of myself. And it's also great for your product photos because you can just snatch them from the background and display them in stunning ways in Canva without spending more money and booking multiple photo shoots. Now, because it's so iconic, you don't even have to go to edit because it's right here when you select your image and I wanted to show you photos with some busy background something that would take you a lot of time to do manually elsewhere not to mention the learning curve all we need to do is to click and we have a super clean cut on all of those now from here you can use it as is or add some outline from the shadows features for that YouTube thumbnail look or add drop shadow in here for extra depth again both of them from the shadow feature which is also a part of the photo editor now again as an extra tip you can always jump back into the background remover to erase or restore any of the areas that you want all right all right but what if we want something else from the background no worries we have magic grab for this now say we want to remove the background from this image but when you do that you get all the balloons in it too now if we go to edit and then magic grab right here we can then click to select the woman here and of course the megaphone was treated as a separate item so we can click again to add it and it will be added to the selection i'll keep clicking to get 
all the items that I want and then let's grab. Not only does it separate your object from the background, it also fills the empty space using AI so that your background still looks good. This means you can change the position of the element to add text and it's a perfect feature for YouTube thumbnails for this very reason. Now, I love using Magic Grab when I'm designing graphics with multiple layers or rearranging elements in lifestyle photos to fit the design better. And this is because we can also choose other objects using Magic Grab, which is so useful to create these trending Instagram carousels with cutouts. Now, I absolutely love the Canva Photo Editor because these AI features have already saved me countless hours on content. And let's face it, it's all we all need as business owners and creators. Try AI photo editing in Canva now yourself. I've left the link for you down below and let me know which one of these is your favorite and hit the thumbs up if you've discovered something new today and enjoy this video. Make sure you watch this one to see more magic grab and background remover in action with this cutout carousel tutorial in Canva. And of course, thank you so much to Canva for sponsoring this video and thank you for watching the whole thing. I can't wait to see you next time.